This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all kinds of Photoshop and Lightroom goodness, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or go to facebook.com slash tipsquirrel. Hello everyone, Mike Hoffman here, and today we're going to be talking about Photoshop layer comps. Layer comps is a feature that's been in Photoshop for quite a long time, and it allows you to create different compositions within a single Photoshop document by manipulating the assets, specifically the layers in your document, by turning them off and on, moving them around, and changing the layer styles. You can create radically different designs from the same document and be able to switch back and forth through those different designs very easily. Let's see how it works. We can access layer comps by choosing Window and then selecting Layer Comps, and we get the Layer Comps panel. And it's similar to the History panel in that it maintains a list of states of your document, and the most recent document state is automatically there by default. What we can do is create a new Layer Comp, as it's called, by clicking on this icon right here in the panel. And what this does is it allows us to create a snapshot of the document the way it is now. Notice in the Layers panel, we've got a variety of layers, but some of them in this group are turned off. So by creating a layer comp, we're going to take a snapshot of the document that reflects the visibility, as well as the position and appearance dictated by the layer styles of all the layers. And we'll just call this one Layer Comps to start out with. Now you can see that it's created a new layer comp here in the list and we're ready to change our document around. In this case, I'm simply going to turn off this group, and I'm going to turn on this group, and this is a group of a bunch of layers, including some graphics elements and some text that might represent a design you're working on. And with these layers turned on, we can create a new layer comp by clicking the same button, and we'll call this one Empty Arms for the name of the hotel. And again, we'll make sure that visibility, position, and appearance are all checked because we want to keep track of all of those attributes of the layers. Now you can see we've got two layer comps in our panel. Now to switch back to the previous one where we were showing the Photoshop layer comps text, it's as easy as clicking on this icon in the left column. We click on that one and notice the layer panel changes, the visibility changes. We'll click on the one below it, and we're right back to the Empty Arms Hotel layer comp. Now we'll stretch this down because we're going to create a few more layer comps as we go. And as a further example of visibility, we've got all these layers turned on. We've also got these colored layers on. Let's turn the green layer off so that we can see the blue background. And maybe let's take away the swirls at the bottom. And now we'll create a new layer comp representing this document state. And we'll call this Empty Arms Blue. We'll click on OK. And you can see the state of the layers here with some invisible and some visible. And when we click on the original Empty Arms layer comp, you can see the visibility of the layers changes. So we'll go back to the blue, and we'll see now that it's not just visibility, but also position. So what we can do is let's select the key layer, and we'll drag it downward. And we're just going to move it. We're not going to scale it or transform it. We're just going to move it, and we'll choose the text for hotel, and we'll move that up. Hold the shift key to move it in a straight line. And now we'll create a new layer comp, and we'll call this one Empty Arms Flipped, because we've flipped the position of the two layers. We'll click on OK, and now we've got another new layer comp created. Once again, we can just click back on the previous one, and we can switch between these two different compositions. And we can still click back on any of the other ones and it's very easy to get from one to another.
So we've seen that layer comps can keep track of the visibility of layers and the position of layers. They can also keep track of layer appearance, which includes layer styles and layer blend modes. So for example, if we look at this gradient layer here, that's providing just a little bit of a vignette to the background, we can see that it has a layer style of multiply. We can change this layer style, for example, to luminosity, and we get a different effect. And we can create a new layer comp, and we'll call this light blue. Now we can toggle back and forth between those. And if you notice, the blend mode here in the Layers panel changes as we toggle between the layer comps. So we're controlling the blend mode. We can even control layer styles. So for example, let's go back to our original layer comps composition. And here we've got the two text layers one with the word Photoshop and one with the word layer comps, and they both have effects applied. We can change these effects. For example, if we go to the word Photoshop and we change the bevel and emboss to be deeper and larger, we can save that change in a layer comp. We'll come down here and we'll create a new layer comp and we'll call this layer comps beveled just to distinguish it from the other one. And when we switch back to the original layer comps, we can see the layer style changing. So with layer comps, you can control the visibility of your layers, you can control the position of your layers, and you can control the appearance, including both layer style appearance and layer blending modes, all within a snapshot within the layer comps panel. And you can switch back and forth between these layer comps very easily. Now there's one final bonus. If you've gone to the trouble of creating all these layer comps, you can actually save them individually to files through a script that comes built into Photoshop. If you go to the file menu and look under scripts, you'll see several entries here, layer comps to files, layer comps to PDF, and layer comps to web photo gallery, WPG. So for example, we can choose layer comps to files, and it opens up a dialog box, allowing us to choose where to save the files and what file type, whether we want them to be any one of these supported file types. And we can create one version for every layer comp in our document quickly and automatically. So we'll go ahead and cancel out of this for now. And there you have layer comps within Photoshop, a very powerful way of creating a variety of different design compositions within a single Photoshop document and being able to switch between those designs quickly, easily, and rapidly so that you can show different designs to your audience. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of photography, Photoshop, and Lightroom tutorials, tips and tricks, and related information there. Or you can follow me at mhoffman2001 on Twitter, and you can find me on Google Plus by simply going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial.